Hey y'all, it's Sonora. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my morning skincare routine. So let's get started. So I start off by washing my face with some gentle cleansing lotion. This is by Neutrogena. This is more of like a lotion consistency so it won't foam up or suds up, which is more gentler in the morning so that you're not stripping away the moisture that you're going to need for the rest of the day. So I, I already did this, obviously. <laughs> and then I will dry my face. And sometimes I use paper towels, I will pat dry. I don't scrub because I don't want premature wrinkles. I'm trying to look cute, okay. So I use this and it's from Amazon and I like it, it has three setting. One, two, three. I only use the first setting, this light one. And I use it far away just to do a gentle drying. So I already did that. So my next step would be to exfoliate and tone. And the way that I do that is that I use the First Aid Beauty Radiance Facial Pads, which are these. I'll also put a picture here or somewhere on the screen. And the reason I like to use these is because it tones my face and also exfoliates. So I suffer from adult acne. You'll see I have some scarring here and some scarring here. And this helps with like the skin turnover. So when I say exfoliate, it's a chemical exfoliant. So it's an exfoliant that you leave on your skin, rather a scrub, like the St. Eve's um, scrub that you would like scrub to like physically exfoliate. This is a chemical one. So you leave it on your skin and it does its own thing. It sits on your skin and it'll start shedding off dead skin or whatever properties they may have. This one specifically has AHAs, which is alpha hydroxy acid. So I love this. This has lactic acid, which I believe comes from milk. And then the second one is glycolic acid, which I forget what it comes from, but I'll put it somewhere on the screen. So yes, I like to use this to prevent acne and also to help even out skin tone. I'm just coming off my moon. That's why you see these. So there's two sides to this. There's like a little textured side and then there's like a flat side. I use a textured side first. And I gently, cause you don't want to tug at your skin and create premature wrinkles. Okay, we're trying to stay cute and young, all right? Young looking. And always, when it comes to skincare, don't forget your decollete and this area because all of this, same skin. So upward, always against gravity, okay? So I just tone. Whatever I do to my face, I do to my neck and my decollete and my chest area. All right. So usually what I like to do, just very lightly, you know, as a New Yorker, we're always pressed for time. So I just like to lightly go over so it seeps into my skin a little faster. Just a little bit, I don't want it to evaporate off of my skin. All right, so we've toned, we exfoliated, and next we're going to moisturize. If you see me looking down, it's because I typed up my notes. <laughs> Cause I like to give people, you know, like history and the science behind it, especially like my friends are like, oh, Denora, what are you using now? So I'm like, listen, I use this because, all right. So I'm going in with my moisturizer. This is my morning moisturizer, it's only $9 from Trader Joe's and I love this because it's a gel like consistency so I can't do a lot of heavy products because I have acne prone skin I have combination skin and I have dehydrated skin I have dehydrated skin because of the active products that I use which I'll get into a little later actually in another video in my PM schedule skincare my night skincare video which will come up after this so I go in with this this also reminds me of when I used Curology their moisturizer because their moisturizer was just the same it was like a gel it's a gel like consistency but it's still very like moisturizing and i like to use this little spatula this is from a store here in new york i don't know if it's outside of new york it's called muji m-u-j-i it's a japanese like minimalist store i love it i think this was like four dollars but i like using this stainless steel spatula so that i'm not like digging inside of my product you know contamination trying to keep this acne away from my skin 
So I have some of my moisturizer in my hand and next I'm going to add some vitamin C powder. And I use vitamin C powder for a few reasons. One is to brighten the skin. This doesn't bleach your skin. It brightens it in the sense that it will help even out like hyperpigmentation or any pigmentation you might have like from sun damage. So I use that for that. Secondly, I use it because it aids in collagen production. And I don't know if many of you know, but collagen production slows down after you're 25. I'm going to be 33, so this helps with that. And thirdly, but not lastly, this along with sunscreen, they like karate chop the sun so it doesn't like mess with your face. So it has those three benefits. So this is from Good Molecule. I'll put a picture and good molecule you'll get a little spatula this is also very affordable I've used other vitamin C serums that cost 80 90 dollars and it's like okay it's a 30 day use this will last me at least four months and it's pure vitamin C so I take a scoop of that into my moisturizer And another piece of hydration is using a hydrating oil. And this is also from Good Molecules, also affordable, $10. And this has sea buckthorn oil. And this oil is very good for acneic skin, but also hydrate. So I like to add this to add extra hydration in the morning. Just one entire droplet. I'll show you in a second. we have oil moisturizer and vitamin C and now we're just going to mix everything together again when applying you want to go up because gravity is trying to pull you down give yourself a nice little facial massage Try to avoid your under eye. I will usually put eye cream before my moisturizer. I forgot, but I'll put it on next. It does not matter. What's left? Remember, you don't want to help gravity. Don't go down, go up. This would usually go on before my moisturizer. Again, this is another First Aid Beauty. I've just realized I really like their products. They're very um, simple. They're kind of affordable. They're they're in the mid range. Good molecules is cheaper than this. So I take the other end and I take a little bit. Ring finger. So from what I've known and read, my mom went to beauty school when she was younger and she would, told, she would tell me to use the ring finger to apply eye cream because this finger doesn't apply as much pressure to your skin. As you can see, I have dark circles, but also my eyes are kind of like sunken in. So like even as a child, it looked like I had no sleep, but trust me, I was sleeping a lot. So this eye cream helps a lot because it instantly illuminates because it has like this orange pigment to it and if you know anything about color theory you know that red cancels out blues so technically your dark circles are basically the capillaries underneath your under eye they burst because this is very thin skin so as you agitate it you're putting on lotion or you're scratching your eye you move it you agitate and the blood bursts the little blood um, capillaries or veins here, giving you a dark eye effect. And also from lack of sleep, stress, allergies, all that good stuff. So when you put something orange on top, it'll cancel it out. So this gives you an instant brightness, but also does help with dark circles and fine lines. So they say, this is my fourth week using it. I have no complaints, I use it morning and night. And you want to apply eye cream along the orbital bone and you can feel it you can feel this is your orbital bone some people pat i pat but i like to do a very soft and gentle glide over it i 
I just love like how plump and juicy it makes my under eye look. Okay, so we've done our cleanser, we exfoliated, we put our eye cream, we have a moisturizer, and I wanna bring up a This is a little bit of out of sequence, but before I put my exfoliant on, like after I dry my face, I have to put this on and it's a lip mask. And the reason is because the active ingredients in the exfoliant will sometimes get on the outer part of my lips and it will burn or cause my lips to crack. So I like to put this on first. I know it's a sleeping mask, but it's the first thing that I do after I dry my face. And then I'll use a lip balm that has SPF later on. My eye cream is on, and my last step in my skincare routine is to wear what? Sunscreen. Even if you're sitting in your house, put sunscreen on. You know why? Because those UVAs and those UVBs still come through the window, even if the window's closed. So please wear your sunscreens. Here are some of mine. So. My favorite one to use right now, even though I use all of them all of the time, is the Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum. And this is 60 plus, which I really don't think you need 60. I think anywhere between 30 and 40 SPF is perfect. So I do a tablespoon for my- A teaspoon, not a tablespoon. <laughs> Entire face. Not only my face, but my neck. And all the sunscreens that I use are brown skin friendly. And what's that? That means you're not gonna look like Casper the Ghost. And as you can see, look, minimal effort, even though it looked orange or whitish on my, on my hand. Sometimes you saw I was going down. Ooh. It's okay, just go up. And always, always, don't forget your ears. One time I got sunburned during the summer while being on the beach. I got sunburned up here. Ooh, Chile. That was painful. Sunscreen. Tap underneath my eyes. You also want to protect this area from the sun. And there you go. Look how glowy I look. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will have the PM skincare ready to go up as well very soon. See you later. Be blessed.